Uh, once more for Ms. Johnson first, and perhaps for uh, Reverend Carter as well. I'm just wondering if it sort of crossed your mind to be affirmative advocates of this po county policy in, rather than opponents, in the sense that um, uh, the wrongs, things you might consider to, to be wrongs carried out um, by public officials, by police officers, in the absence of um, legal standards, in the absence of uh, an articulated policy, in the absence of an education program by the uh, sheriff's department of its officers, you know, as to to the um, details of its policy, uh, would be uh, uh, mitigated, lessened, diminished, in the presence of a well-articulated, well-formed. Um, uh, 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 county policy as to distinguish between the treatment of illegal immigrants and uh, people here uh, with a, um, a regular legal status. Did that thought ever cr cr cross your mind? Sure. I'm a lawyer. Uh, things like that cross my mind all the time. And I'm also capable of understanding all the different viewpoints uh, to this debate. Um, However, I honestly believe, I don't think it's possible to have a well-crafted resolution without running afoul of the Constitution. I don't think that second level of probable cause that, you know, the county has failed to really define. And I've talked to police officers, and they don't really know what that probable cause standard is. Other than, you know, I got a very mixed message when I listened to Ms. Chavez talk about ask, the, the um, chief, um, chief, chief Dean, Dean. whether, uh, well, she's, you know, has dark skin, she's got a heavy accent, she's nervous. He said, no, we definitely wouldn't profile. But then just two minutes later, he said that language capability could be used as a factor. So I honestly don't believe in this situation it is possible to craft a narrowly tailored law where you will not be sweeping in both issues of um, equal protection on race grounds, but also on nationality, that you won't be harming the rights of United States citizens and, and people that have lawful permanent status here. Now, if that can be crafted, then it would be an interesting thing to take a look at, but that's not what we have here. Mr. Hethman. Uh, yeah, I have uh, written somewhat on this in a, in a law review article that's on our website called The Keimer and the Cop, Local Enforcement of Federal Immigration Law. And it's, I understand this standard, the profiling standard in the context of immigration law uh, it has evolved primarily through case law uh, of, of over about 20 years is that foreign appearance, foreign language, uh, uh, these kinds of indicia um, are permissible for consideration um, uh, if the other circumstances of you referred to sorry, a Terry stop, for example, are are lawful. Those conditions can be considered in the in the totality of the circumstance analysis that the uh, that the offers officer makes as long as, and here was what seems to be as much of a bright line rule as, as the courts have been able to reach, as, as long as uh, they are not the, the, the primary consideration. In the primary consideration, the, the officer has to be able to articulate that in, 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 in what the courts say is, is a relatively specific standard. So. Uh, I, I, this, you know, a lot of people, you know, say this is this is not <laughs> this is not a perfect bright line rule, but but certainly the you know the fourth you know Fourth Amendment jurisprudence and what the, the way the courts Supreme Court deals with this <laughs> indicates that that's not uh, may may not ever be a possible sort of thing, and it's a it's a, it's a shifting standard. That so so if I were a little bit darker skin and had a little bit more of an accent, I better start carrying my passport or my birth certificate with me. Is that what you're saying? Um, no, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that, uh, uh, 
you know, if if you run if you run a red light, uh, you know, everybody has to deal with with the police. Well, apparently, I don't, from the standards you just suggested, you and I, uh, if I fit those characteristics, would have somewhat different. I'm, I'm, I'm not scrutiny. I'm not suggesting this is in, this isn't my idea. This is the uh, okay. the the appellate courts of the United States. Uh, 